Okay, guys, another question from March 18, and this is again the Indian version of this statistics paper. And it says the weights of packets of certain type of biscuits are normally distributed. So this is the word that we pick. The pick normally distributed with mean 400 grams. And now he has kept this standard deviation unknown here. So I'll first of all write it as the X is normally distributed with the mean 400 and the variance. You have to put a square on this sigma here, okay? This is the variance with us. Okay. This is a random sample of 6,000 packets of this type of biscuits. 225 packets weighed more than 410 grams. You see, it's very clever. He's giving you the probability indirectly. So you have to write it down that probability that X is more than 410 is 225 over 6,000. That is how you have to take it, okay? So this is 225 divided by 6,000. Yeah, this is 0 0.0375. So this is the probability given to us is 0 0.0375. And we straight away start uh, that standardization here. So I would be saying the probability that Z is greater than 410 minus the mean, which is 400 over the standard deviation that is equal to 0 0.0375. Uh, we should be happy that this is happening to be a positive value here and there is a greater than sign and you have a probability less than 0.5. This is very much manageable. We don't need to do anything extra here. Like you see, if this is your binomial uh, distribution curve here. So it is, there's a greater than sign here. So there's a very small probability. So this is falling in the positive region. So there is no need to uh, be worried about if it is going to be negative or not, okay? So, uh, I would write this as rather one minus phi of 10 over sigma, okay? So it's 10 over sigma, that is 0 0.0375. So phi of 10 over sigma is one minus this. So let me write this as one minus 0 0.0375. So we have 0.9625. So very nice, okay. So this 10 over sigma is going to be phi inverse of 0.9625. And we have to go to the table now, guys. There's a table, 0 0.9625, 0 0.9625. Where it is, where is this point? Oh, it is overlapping with this. Oh. So can I slide this a bit down here? Yeah, 0.9625. So it is exactly here. Yeah, this is 0.9625. This is 0.9625 here. This is 1.78, you know, 1.78. This is 1.78. This is 1.78, so 1.78. So the sigma is now going to be, this standard deviation is 10 over 1.78. So that is 10 over 1.78. So this is 5.62. So that is the required standard deviation. Okay. Now we go into the second part. It says in, in a random sample of 500 packets of this type of biscuits, how many packets would you expect to find with weights that are more than 1.5 standard deviations from the mean? 
Now to, uh, to be clear about this, we should have a diagram here, okay? You see, if you are familiar with the diagram, the things would be very clear to you. Now, here is your mean, okay? And it says more than 1.5 standard deviation. So now this lap, this gap over here is, let's say this is uh, 1.5 times the standard deviation. This is also here, 1.5 standard deviations. So it's asking basically that more than, so this is gonna be this region and yeah. If I find this, so this would be less than, hmm? what do you say? So we have to find this region. Uh, if it said within 1.5 standard deviations from the mean, then you have to consider the both. And if it said less than 1.5 standard deviation, so you had to find this one. So now we only have to find this region here. So I would be writing it as that we have to find the probability that our X is, um, probability X is greater than mu plus 1.5 five standard deviations, okay? And we have that mean with us. Uh, X is more than, what was that mean? Let's, let me see. The mean 400. 400, okay, thank you for that. So the mean is 400. So this is gonna be 400 plus 1.5 times this 5.62, okay? So this is the probability X is greater than, let's find this, this is 400 plus 1.5 times 5.62, okay? So this is 408.43, 408.43. So uh, we standardize, okay? So this would be Z is greater than 408.43 minus 400 over the standard deviation, which is 5.62. So this is uh, 8.43 divided by 5.62. That is 1.5. So we have to find one minus phi of 1.5. One minus, let's see what is this phi of 1.5. 1 1.5, 1 .5, that is uh, 0 0.9332. 0 0.9332. 0 0.9332. So this is one minus 0.9332. This is 0 0.0668. Now we have this 500 packets, okay? So the number required, he was asking it how many of the packets. So you multiply this with the probability 0 0.0668 times 500. 500. This is 33.4. Okay, so th these many packets we are expecting to have the probability uh, that it's where it is more than 1.5 standard deviations from the mean. Okay, a little correction here. Um, I was wrong there when I was saying, assuming even within, within basically means this area, within this, okay? So when it says more than, so this, we have to consider both the areas. You see, this is where uh, the statistics is really dangerous when you have to, um, when you have to comprehend uh, the given situation, okay? So both the areas, these are the areas more than this, okay? Yeah, so this has to be doubled here. So your answer would be 66.8 packets, okay? Yeah, this is the answer, two times this.
Yeah, I comprehended this question wrongly. It says it says more than 1.5. So if you cross this line here, you will be going the area which is more than 1.5 standard deviations, and it is also more than this 1.5 standard deviations. You see, you have to have really good comprehension skills to solve these questions on statistics that I am not really good at.